So imagine you are an accountant at your father's farm. So your father have cows, chicken and even a sheep at his farm. So you as accountant have to deal with IFRS 41 agriculture to make a proper accounting record. So for today's video, I will explain to you guys about biological asset based on IFRS 41. So what is biological asset? So biological asset are the living animal or plants that do not include the barrier plants. So what is the barrier plants? The barrier plants is the living plants that is used in the production or supply of agriculture produce. It is expected to be produced for more than one period, which is it can produce fruit for more than one period and had a remote likelihood of being sold as agriculture produce except for scrap sales. So for example, mango tree can be classified as the barrier plant. This is because the mango tree can produce fruit for about 3 to 4 years which is more than one period of time. So you can harvest your mango fruits every year until the tree does not produce any fruit anymore. After that, when the tree cannot produce any fruit anymore, you can sell or use the log for some purposes. Also, mango tree can be sold to other entity as agriculture produce. So if you understand the concept of berry plant, we will move on to the example of the biological assets. The example of biological asset is sweet potato. Sweet potato only can be used once and because we can only harvest the sweet potato once we cannot come back next year to harvest the sweet potato at the same tree after we harvest it this year after we harvest the sweet potato we have to plant a new sweet potato tree to replace the old tree so that is the example of biological asset so when the tree had produced a fruit the fruit will be known as agricultural produce agricultural produce is the harvested produce of the entity's biological asset for example from sheep, we can have the wool as agricultural produce and when we plant the mango tree, we can have a mango fruit. If we send the agricultural produce to the factory to produce to be many other products, we can call them as processed produce. For example, the sheep produce some wool and the wool can be processed as a carpet that can be sold to the customer. So the carpet will be processed produce. So let me give you one example to help you understand all of this term. So we have a cow as a biological asset that produces milk as the agricultural product. And the milk will be used to produce the cheese. So the cheese will be your processed produce. So now everything seems very simple, right? So for the measurement, the biological asset and the agricultural produce have to be treated under IFRS 41 agricultural, while the barrier plants will be treated under IFRS 16 property plan and equipment. For the processed produce, it will be treated under IFRS 2, which is inventory. So done with that, I will give you one question to test your understanding toward this topic. So this question said that the entity B grow the vine, harvest the grape and produce a wine. Which of these activities are in the scope of RFRS 41? Hmm, let's think about this question. So the solution for this question, the activities that will be treated under IFRS 41 is harvest the grape because the grape will be recognized as agricultural produce that comply with IFRS 41. For the vine, the vine will be as a barrier plant that will be treated under IFRS 16, property plan and equipment, while the, for the wine, it will be recognized as the processed produce that will be treated under IFRS 2 inventory. So I hope you guys understand about this topic and I think that's all for me. Thank you for watching. Please click subscribe button, like and share my video. Bye guys, have a good day.